Okay, so anyways, God stakes his reputation on his ability to turn you and to turn me into incredible, incredibly recovered people who are used by him to recover other people. And the scriptures there in Ephesians, you can certainly look at later, Isaiah 8, 18, it just says this, that, that I and the people that God has given to me are for signs and wonders in the earth. And though the New Testament certainly refers specifically to miraculous signs and wonders that will follow on the heels of the word of God being proclaimed so that people can believe, wow, this must be true because look what is happening all around it. The main emphasis of the scriptures is that signs and wonders become the marvel of transformed human beings who are no longer like what they were, who have been uh, recovered and, and just made fresh and made new. To be changed in God is the ongoing miraculous work of the Spirit of God. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is great liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, people are coming out from under the things that used to overwhelm them and dominate them. And so we should be seeing in any church setting, and it's why we arrange for prayer sessions for people, it's why, uh, why we teach l like we do, it's why people are there to help you understand some things. We talk about people being accountable. The whole point of all of it is so that you and I can come into closer proximity with the life-giving power poured through other people to speak into our life, to share, to care about us, so that we end up being made different. And so one of the reasons that a lot of things change around here all the time is, frankly, to keep everybody a little bit on their toes because I know the tendency is to just kind of slide and slip into the routine and there isn't any, how can I say this, there isn't any point, there isn't any value added to a mere routine. The whole point of it is that you and I are being made different and, and being changed. 